Today we're testing out EnjoyBot's lithium iron phosphate solar battery lineup. And on paper, these seem perfect. They have low temp charging protection, you can put them into series up to 48 volts, and they are ridiculously cheap. This is the 12 volt 300 amp hour model, and the cost per watt hour is 26 cents. And there's not that big of a price difference for their smaller models. So if instead you buy their 12 volt 100 amp hour, it's only 28 cents per watt hour, which is again, very, very cheap. But as always, we need to open this thing up and see if it actually works as advertised. Before I started this video, I did do a 0.2C rate capacity test and it actually passed. Um, we pulled 303 amp hours and I had to use a shunt for that test because I had to pull a consistent 60 amps for five hours. By the way, this thing weighs 70 pounds, so it's pretty hefty. No! And the battery is glued inside. This is gonna be a pain in the butt. There is not much room to cut this thing either. So max continuous discharge current is 200 amps, so we really need to be careful with this lug. I'm gonna cover it up with some electrical tape for now. So this looks like a giant chins battery. Same BMS, I recognize this label. Here's the temperature sensor. So let's try to take this off real quick. No, really? Guys, it's a high temp sensor or a thermal switch. God dang it. Why would they screw this up every single time? It says on the ad, low temp charging protection. So this is 75 degrees Celsius thermal switch, so. This is not a temp sensor at all. Yeah, look at this. This is a giant chins battery or ampere time or whatever you want to call it. There's like 10 different ones on there now. And the build quality in these packs is surprisingly good. Um, every crimp connection is with a hydraulic crimper. We have oversized copper bus bars. The balance leads are always protected and they do a really good job on these crimps. The only downside is they do not have low temp charging protection. I thought this battery would be different because in Joybot, this company sells other batteries for wheelchairs and stuff. So I thought maybe they had their own design. But yeah, this is a clone of many other batteries that we've tested. So in this video, I claim that it does not have low temp charging protection. So for liability reasons, we're gonna test that out real quick. So right now we're charging with 10 amps and now it's fully submerged. And nothing, obviously. Yep. So this is high temperature cutoff only. What makes me mad is that they advertise specifically that this has low temp charging protection and it doesn't. It doesn't. None of these clones have it. None of them. You would think a single company would come out and say, hey, it doesn't have it. We need to advertise this correctly. But time and time again, it never seems to happen. But this is still a very good battery and I've been using these for a very long time. I put them into series up to 48 volts and I've never had an issue with this BMS at all. So if you live in a warm environment or you're using a Victron smart solar charge controller that has its own programmable low temp charging protection, then you can safely use this battery. But if not, if you're in a cold environment and you try to charge this when it's really cold, you will cause permanent damage and you're gonna have some issues. But this build quality for the price is amazing. Now personally, I would prefer a server rack battery because they have a better BMS with more features, communication, it has a shunt, has all sorts of cool stuff on it. This is just a battery all right it's very simple it works but yeah personally for the price i would go for a server rack battery but once you go server rack battery you never go back to this in my opinion the one benefit of this battery over a server rack battery is you can use this in a marine environment or a high moisture environment because it's glued shut and it actually has a waterproof rating even the terminals are epoxy and that could be very important for some of you guys so yeah it's a massive ampere time battery what a bummer Anyways, I hope you guys liked the review. Please let me know what you guys think below. Again, very cheap, very good build quality. It's just missing a crucial feature. So personally, I would stick to server rack batteries. With those packs, you get four temperature sensors um, for low temp charging protection. That's pretty much it for this video. So I will talk to you guys in the next video and thank you so much for watching. Bye.